Hello, this is um, um, supplementary, uh, extra, additional extra content for the weekend here. Um, I'm, I've been, I came back from the gym earlier and I started, straight away I started shedding on the, this Gary Bart's Giant Steps, in a pre, uh, the solo, Gary Bart's solo for Giant Steps. Even though I don't know the, the chords off by heart, I, I want to learn the line anyway, I want to learn that melody line. And I think I'm getting about, I'm getting about 12 or 13 bars in after the, intro after the head um a couple of couple of comments i made just before i start and i will i'll do some like i'll probably mess up so i'll just i'll just let the whole thing roll like a like a work in progress type thing um a couple of remarks i want to make um this is from a limited selection of renditions of giant steps like a, a limited selection so obviously the original with the coltrane quartet then the gary bart's I actually said love Su Gary Bart's Love Supreme in a previous video, of course I meant to say Gary Bart's Love Affair is the name of the record, Gary Bart's Love Affair. And then another, like if I'm to, if I'm to make, a, if I can make a decision between three, three definitive versions of Giant Steps, then um, I would say the uh, Pat Metheny one is also quite remarkable rendition, rendering. Um, but my favourite out of those three is the Gary Bart's Love Affair one, and uh, hence it's a great one to sort of like shed on and learn and trans transcribe, transcribe by ear. So I'm trying to transcribe it by ear, and uh, yeah, working on guitar because um, you know it's like you can be inundated with practice options. Like one day you're, you know, one day you're on the piano. And uh, you're like, well, can I practice my reading? Can I practice just transcribing by ear, etc., etc.? And then you think, well, there's so many different things you can do on the guitar as well. So why not try and transcribe a saxophone line? And uh, this is a really challenging one. It's all like really fast eighth notes. I don't know the BPM for sure either. Um, let me just. Let's just see how we go, all right? So what happens is. On, on the Love Affair rendition, there's an intro where the piano plays the head and then a whole string section plays the head and then when that's finished, the solo commences and um, I can get to like, you know, the 13th or 14th bar, the pause the pause at the end of the first long phrase and it, it's, it's tough and I might mess up so if I do mess up I'll just pause it and back it up and do it and show you real time, show you like how I'm how I'm playing, how I'm practicing. Um, so let's just, I won't attempt to comp with the chords or anything. I'll just let it play and then I'll just try and double the sax line. And this is gonna be Saturday's video. far as I can get. And 
but then I think it starts. That's like the end of the phrase. It goes. <laughs> And then, I think, it's starting on an A, then. See, I, I don't have the form memorised, so I don't know where I'm up to tonally or harmonically. I only know what the line's doing. I don't even know where, the, where my bars are or anything. I'm just following the lines. Obviously, I know I'm, I know I'm, I know I'm soloing over the harmony. I know I'm matching the harmony, but I don't know at what point I am in the harmony. Where, where am I in that? Am I, am I over some kind of A? You know, for instance, to exemplify. This is this is as far as I can get from my transcription. That's about as far as I can get. I can run it back. This is how I've been practicing it, just running it back like that. Actually makes me feel a bit nervous having to, to play this to, to perform this because it's so 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 challenging you know but that's a good thing It's gonna go like that then. Really good to transcribe uh, transcribe saxophone parts. Thanks for joining me. That's Gary Bart's Love Affair. I'll link in the description. Alright, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. <laughs>